Amazing students came together from 14 different countries for the PDC, including Haiti, Ecuador, Venezuela, Costa Rica, Puerto Rico, Mexico, Cuba, Canada, England, Australia, New Zealand, Sweden, the UK, and the United States. We're a charitable company. Our objectives are about public education and research, and it's a complex network. The Permaculture Association in the early 80s was the network. Now the Permaculture Association is a part of it, and there are companies and charities and other things going on. So we're, we're part of the kind of a, an ecosystem of permaculture. Okay, so uh, we're next. Um, well, we're doing the IPC UK in 2015. That's going to be a big part of our... Uh... Hi, I'm Athena McCurdy, and I've been a permaculture educator and designer for the past 25 years, working in 12 different countries over this time, mostly in New Zealand. Land-based community development and transformation of school grounds is the emphasis of my permaculture work. Can you hear me? Yeah. We're talking about permaculture in Hawaii. My name is Hunter Hevelin. I work with an organization called the Asia Pacific Center for Regenerative Design. And we do permaculture design, education, and community development work. What I do in permaculture, in my opinion, it's a lot about empowerment. How can we empower ourselves and how can we empower other people? And through that empowerment, we create the paradise that uh, we all dream about. Because permaculture is about uh, implementing and creating our dreams. Amale. Amale. the legacy of our techno-industrial age. The image at the top there is from a New Scientist uh, magazine in 2010. That is the space debris surrounding our planet. Our satellite technology. It is not sustainable. We're going to have peak space in space soon. Tony Anderson there. We are now all the, from the dinosaur period, all the plants that at that time died here, you know, they went down into the soil and became the coal, the oil, the gas that we are using now. And that means that have been collected for 30,000 years of organic matter, have been collected in the soil, in the globe. And we're digging it up and we are uh, and we're using it, you know, in two to three hundred years ago. Let's go through this and see how we go. Pretty tough crowd. <laughs> um, we're from this part of the world, top of the world. This is the Bible Statistics Square. It's very important for me that we connect and interact and part of our group dynamics and working together for climate change is really being able to work more effectively together for change. Everyone here has special stories about where you live and in Portland we've kind of reached this moment where it's started to um, you know really build and um, I'd love to hear about all the stories from each of you where you live and how this resonates for you in your heart. <laughs> Amante a quien quieras más